Hi everyone, it's Kim, and uh, finally back. I went uh, this weekend to a stamping uh, expo, and it was for the Northern Ohio's Rubber Stamp and Scrapbooking Expo. It was called Adventures in Stamping, and uh, their spring show program. And so there was, um, let's see, my mom and my aunt and uh, my bestest friend Susan had went uh, with us or we all went you know and uh, we had a really good day um, and I super excited to show you all of the yummy goodness that I had brought home um, spent way too much I could have spent a lot more but um, it's things that I can't you know just get here locally unless you know I, I go and online or whatever and um, I don't want to I didn't want to pay shipping so um, I, you know I've been waiting like crazy to go to this expo and so let me get started because there is like I said a lot of things to show you guys and um, just really super excited about everything um, so I'm gonna go kind of quickly um, but yet so that you can you know see everything all of the stamps that I come home with are the cling mount you know that the rubber ones that you have to mount yourself but um, it's so much cheaper doing it that way and um, you know it takes up less space too I'm hoping <laughs> so but I got this set from the Lost Coast Designs and I just fell in love with all of the different dress forms. So really excited about using this. And um, I only spent $12 on this, which I didn't think was bad at all for, you know, getting six, six different stamps in there. So, you know, of course I have to cut them all and everything, but it's going to be super cute. Uh, to use and everything so I got that like I said that's from the the Lost Coast designs and then from Red Lead um, I just picked up these I thought these were really cute dress forms um, little girl dresses and so I picked them up to use as templates and um, I think maybe you know I spent two bucks or whatever there no biggie there and then um, I had to keep the receipt so I remembered which place I got this from but this is um, from Stamping Sensations and so and like I said these these are all the the cling mount ones and um, I fell in love with this one because I'm going to be using this on a special project it's um, a sentiment that says if tears could build a stairway and memories Elaine I'd walk right up to heaven and bring you home again so um, as soon as I saw that I knew I had to get that one and all of these here I spent two bucks on a piece so that was really good well the one I might have spent two two fifty but um, this one I think was actually two fifty but this one has a bunch of different images I went ahead and I I stamped it right away so that I could show you um, the the different things on here because just looking at the the rubber um, stamp itself, you, you know, you can't see the images real well. But those are all of the the images on that one. Fell in love with this little girl here, and of course the the one where you see the back side of her. And then I saw this little boy. He's a little mailman vintage mailman so that was cool and then this little sailor because I don't have a lot of boy stuff and so these two will help possibly in doing some boy things and of course I found the Eiffel Tower that's as close as to Paris as I'm gonna get <laughs> so um, and then from Stamp Camp Company um, I picked up Oh, she's falling off of the piece of paper that I put her on. But um, I got this image here. And 
and then this one was really cute blowing bubbles and I love this one little girl sitting in the sand looking at the sunset and then here's I didn't stamp this one out because I figured you could see this one really well this is um, a great big shoe and they had the cutest cards that they made with this and you know I didn't take any pictures I wish now that I would have taken pictures for some ideas because my brain can only hold so many you know memories of things that I had seen but um, I saw this window one and they did some really neat um, designs with this so I thought that was cool and then I finally uh, because I'm in a, a local ATC group here we meet once a month and I'm always writing out every little detail on the back of my ATCs because I didn't have uh, a stamp and so now I do for all my little info that that was really super cute and then this one is birds and bird cages they did a really neat card with this one also and of course I didn't take pictures <laughs> so and then this one I just fell in love with also it's this one um, is called um, big hat girl and I just think she is really really super cool so that's that and then from one of my other favorite companies that I'm learning to love real well and I I would have loved to have gotten a lot more from them but you know when you're you're going and you only have so much money and and with me starting out um, kinda you know with getting things and um, so I had to limit myself and so I went with the nursing theme to get that project done and so the, here's a t-shirt and these are really cool because you stamp it out and then you fold it and it, you know you can use it as a card so then I got it a, a little pocket and then the nursing gear with it so that was really cool that was from too much fun rubber stamps and they have a boatload of super cute items there and then these ones this next set um, I think is my favorite and it's going to take me a little bit uh, to understand how to use it a little bit more but these are um, from oh sorry I'm out of, out of the camera here these are called uh, the Stamp Smith um, Exquisite Vintage Images and these are so cool because they're they're like photos um, they come I don't know if you can see that they come like this and I don't know maybe you all have them I'm trying to see but they come like this and then when you stamp them out on glossy paper you know they look like a photo and then you just use um, oh my goodness chalks to color it in so I so this is the whole Wizard of Oz set it was on a, a great big sheet and I cut it all up already um, to stamp them out most of them anyway uh, follow the yellow brick road Toto I've a feeling that we're not in Kansas anymore the Wizard of Oz uh, I'm melting I'm melting what would you do with a brain if you had one so there's with some sentiments and because I I just love the Wizard of Oz um, watched it every year growing up and um, it's just you know it's a classic it's it's kind of like the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory yeah those two are my favorite old-time movies and uh, so here's Dorothy again with Toto um, it's gonna like I said it's gonna take me a little bit to learn how to use use the stamp because when I was just practicing real quick um, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong but I get like these spots or whatever these ones I didn't stamp out yet but if you can tell this is Dorothy and Toto and then Glenda the Good Witch 
and she has a sentiment down here um, but it, it's backwards so I can't I can't figure out what it says until I stamp it out so sorry about that and then um, what was really neat is they had the ruby slippers in this size on there and then they had a smaller ruby s slippers and of course the Wicked Witch you can kind of see see that and then um, they also ha oh they had just um, some really cool stamps and I could have went hog wild there too but I picked this one up of um, Shirley Temple my grandmother um, that has passed away years ago um, when I was little you know she always said that for some reason I, you know I guess I was like Shirley Temple with the curls and everything so I picked that up and and was trying to work with it but like I said it's it's not all that easy for me to to do and then I picked up this one I forget her name um, because it wasn't marked but this is that one as well I just thought this one was very pretty as well so I've got that <coughs> excuse me and then from um, there was a company there called Paper Alice and they had these gadget screen things that you can make your own paper out of paper and um, so this is what they were showing you know you can make paper like this and so I bought the gadget and started playing with it yesterday and I have started making my own papers you know for on cards and different projects um, I have learned though that this is another project that's going to take me a little bit to get used to because see how thin their paper is yeah um, my very first one that I tried <laughs> was way too thick but you know I don't want to throw it out because I can still use it on something um, it's just going to take me a little bit to to get used to working with the the gadget and all but here's just some of the papers that um, I made yesterday and dried them and everything and so and set them aside so there is something fun oh and then I did um, I made some yellow and then I used my big shot and cut out a flower <coughs> excuse me cut out a flower and um, to show you how cool it is so anyway that's all the stamps and everything but then I come home with a boatload of brads and um, really excited about showing you these so let me see we've got some cotton candy trying not to get the glare there there is I'm not sure if you can see them but there's little flip flops there's some puppy dogs and like for over the edge papers and here's some coffee mugs or hot cocoa mugs and there is some candy apples just so cute and a lot of these these are um, I don't know if I said but these are from the eyelet outlet and a lot of them I paid a, a buck for you know they had this big bin you could dig through and um, these are pineapples and I, these ones I did pay a little bit more these were um, three dollars a pack but they're dress forms and I definitely had to get those and these were another thing that I, I spent I think three bucks on but they're the pocket watches hoping you can see that and of course I had to get the volleyball because of our daughter playing volleyball and then these ones I thought were really cute these are hair dryers but then when I got home I realized that there's also um, lipstick in there as well so that was really cool here's some eyeglasses a bunch of different eyeglasses in there oh I did get two bags of ribbon my friend had found these Susan um, right away I knew that I had to get them 
and they're with the dress form and spools of ribbon or um, spools of string I'm sorry and then here's some kitty cats you know over the edge kitty cats and here's some birdies and some teddy bears here's these are cool I thought of prom their son's going to be going to prom and um, so there's the limousine and champagne glasses and then here is also some gears and some mushrooms and then in this container here sorry my hand is falling asleep um, I found and it was so funny because mom and I were at the booth at two different times and so I was picking up stuff and so she and then she ended up giving me what um, she had found so now I have like a lot of extra stuff but I found these cameos and they came in green and purple so I got several packs of those because what I didn't pick up my mother had picked up so I've got those are all the same now there's some more and then we found um, some more nursing and doctor related brads and there's like the and this one says um, my doctor visit there's just a, a variety you know the doctor bag is in there and I ended up with a bunch of those they were a dollar a pack and um, ended up with a bunch of those because mom didn't know that I was picking them up also <laughs> here's some Legos my daughter just loves those ones and then here is some more nursing ones with the stethoscope and nurse has hat. Thought those were super cute. Oh, there's some more doctor ones. And then here's some band aids. And here's some martini glasses and olives. And we got to laugh in that uh, Rachel, our daughter, she's like, Mom, the olives are like ginormous compared to the martini glass. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. And then. Here is some pink poodles. Can't wait to use those. And then these ones are just a bunch of different tags. There's like one that says cropping, priceless, addicted. I don't know what all they say. Oh, party. You know, there's just a bunch of different things in there so I thought those were cool and then I found I fell in love with these I did oh no these ones were a dollar too I thought these were the three dollar ones but found these bicycles and thought those were really cool too <clears throat> excuse me so anyway this is my boatload of goodies that I had re gotten at the convention and just really super excited about it and can't wait to dig in and now I can finally now that I've shown all of you I can finally put everything away oh excuse me it's still morning early everybody just left and I didn't mean to yawn <laughs> so um, anyway I hope you all have a great day and we will talk to you soon I've got to get all this put away and we'll be doing some more videos um, shortly. Love you all. Thanks for stopping. Bye.